Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the Cosmetic Laser Dermatology webinar series. I'm very excited to be here today with Dr. Groff. Hi, Dr. Groff. Hey, Risa. How are you doing? Good. And Dr. Groff, back by popular demand, he has been asked yet again to do a webinar on our proprietary Take 10 treatment, which can take up to 10 years off of your face in a single treatment. I see a lot of you joining right now, so I'll give everyone just a minute or two to get situated. But as you're joining, you are um, coming into the webinar with Dr. Groff for his Take 10 procedure. Um, <clears throat> At, for those of you already here at the bottom of your Zoom screen, if you're joining us from Zoom, we have a Q&A feature and a chat feature. Feel free to utilize that to populate any questions that you would like to ask. And Dr. Groff will try and get to as many as possible at the end of the webinar. Let's see. All right. So one more minute here. A lot of people are joining. Again, you are joining the Cosmetic Laser Dermatology Take 10 webinar with Dr. Groff. All right, Dr. Groff, let's get started. Ready to start? Okay. Yes, please. All right, so if case some of you are not familiar with who Dr. Groff is, he is a board certified dermatologist that has been working with CL Derm for many, many years now. He has been voted by patients the best cosmetic dermatologist and the best cosmetic surgeon for three years in a row now in all of San Diego. So we are very proud to have him at the practice. He has over 20 years experience with lasers. He's given over a hundred different laser lectures in 10 different countries. He's been published in multiple scientific journals about a lot of laser studies. And he's also an injection trainer for Allergan, who are the makers of Botox Voluma. Um, so a little bit about cosmetic laser dermatology. We were established in 2010. We have over 50 lasers and devices in the practice. So we have something for everyone. We have six board certified dermatologic surgeons. We offer, uh, we have a full research center, which allows us to offer cutting edge treatments, oftentimes far before anyone else has them in San Diego or even in the whole US. And we have more laser and energy devices than any other practice in the world. Next slide. So before- Thanks for that okay. nice introduction. Thank I'll, you so much. Appreciate it. So a lot of you out there are probably wondering what Take 10 is. And Take 10 for me is really, uh, it's an accumulation of 20 years of using lasers in different ways and combining them in one treatment session to get my patients the best possible result. Uh, when I say result, I mean, for a lot of patients, it's patients that are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, even up to 80s who are searching for a non-surgical treatment option to take considerable time and age off their facial skin. So as you can imagine, it's a great alternative to a facelift. I mean, facelifts and lasers, they do different things. They can often complement each other, but many patients don't want to go under general anesthesia. Uh, they don't want to be cut on because as a lot of you know, with the surgical facelift, there's you know, some pretty extensive cutting and potential scars, things like that. So Today, the point of today is really to introduce and show you what Take 10 is all about, what lasers I use, how I use them. And I like to show a lot of before and after pictures because if I were a patient looking for someone to do work on me, I'd want to see a lot of examples of their work. Because if you go to a doctor and they talk to you about this procedure they can do and how great it is, and then they don't really have any patients to show you, then that should send up a red flag, a warning flag. So... First, we'll watch this video. This video is just a couple minutes, but it's great because it shows the most common lasers that I use. It shows the laser interacting with the patient's skin. And um, I think it's you know really informative. So here we go. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Groff from San Diego, California, and I'm here with my patient, Lola. Lola is 58, and we're gonna do my favorite procedure on her today, which is laser resurfacing. We always use a combination of lasers to get the best result. So for her, we're going to use the V-Beam Perfecta laser to address broken capillaries. Next, we're going to use what's called a Q-switched Alexandrite laser to ensure the brown spots are gone. And then lastly, 
we're going to use what's called the Luminous Ultra Pulse Encore CO2 laser, and then we're going to use the Cyton Erbium laser so we can get rid of all the lines and wrinkles, or as much as we can. If you go to look at my before and after pictures, you can go to uh, Facebook and just type in my name, Dr. William Groff, or Instagram, same thing. You're going to see that we can easily take 15 to even 20 years off some of our patients doing this approach. Now, one thing I want to point out is that if you use a fractional laser to resurface a patient, you cannot get nearly the results. And all you have to do is go online and look at the difference in the photos when we use this combination versus someone who just uses a fractional laser. This is laser number one for our transformation. We're going to use the B-Beam Perfecta to address broken capillaries in the nose, cheek, chin area. And this is the B-Beam right here. So we'll get started now. Sometimes that is the best. Another important thing is to make sure that you treat the ear. I always treat a patient's ears because it doesn't make sense to have this beautiful skin here and then have the sun damaged ears. Uh, you know, many doctors don't treat the ears, which uh, I can't quite figure out why they would skip this important part. Now we're going to go to laser number two, which is the Q-Switched Alexandrite laser. One of my favorites. It's the best laser there is for individual sunspots. So you can see she has a lot of brown spots and um, when we do the Alexandria, you'll see each spot will get a light frost to it. Uh, so we'll get some live footage of that. And you can see right here, this is the Q-Switch Alexandria laser, which is uh, the workhorse for sunspots in our practice. Laser suite, and we're ready to do the uh, main part of our procedure, which is the laser resurfacing part. So, I'm going to be using this laser, which is the Luminous Ultra Pulse Encore, which does the majority of the work. So I'm peeling the epidermis right now, which will enable me to go a little bit deeper and get the best result possible in the lines and wrinkles. You can see the patient's perfectly comfortable. During the 18 years I've been performing laser resurfacing procedures, I've found that the best way to make a patient comfortable is to use a combination of topical anesthesia, nerve blocks using Novocaine, but most importantly, IV sedation, what like a twilight sedation, where we use medication DIV to relax a patient, keep them very comfortable. So I just did some work with the CO2 laser. Now I'm gonna use the Cyton Erbium. This is my sculpting tool. So I sculpt away the remaining lines. There's already a big difference. tightening as the laser pulse. So this laser here is the best skin tightening laser or device in the market, period. And you can see that with that instant tightening effect on the upper eyelid.
We're almost done. We're gonna do a, a final pass on her lips because the lips, just like the rest of our skin, get sun damaged, wrinkled, precancerous spots. So the beauty of this procedure, not only do you get an incredible cosmetic result, but it removes all the precancers from your skin as well. So. So we just finished our, our full face laser resurfacing. Uh, patient did amazing. You can see during the procedure there was very little discomfort. Uh, we do everything we can to make our patients comfortable. Uh, she's just washing out her eyes because we did have a protective eye lens in there to help protect the eye from the laser. Um, so we will follow up in, uh, with her tomorrow and we'll see how she's doing. So this is a... Uh, <clears throat> Wait, Dr. Graf, before you move on, there was a couple questions. Would you oh, mind? Oh, sure. Um, so a, a couple people are asking about the pain level. Could you speak a little bit about how painful it is and if you're administering the IV sedation or if an anesthesiologist is involved? Definitely. So as you can see from the video, for example, at the end there, when I was lasering her lip, which is probably the most sensitive part of the face, uh, she didn't even flinch. She couldn't feel it at all, but she was able to follow my directions. You notice, I don't know if you heard, but I said, can you open your mouth? She opened her mouth and I lasered the lips. So the patients are very comfortable. They're awake, they're breathing on their own. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, we do a combination of topical anesthesia. Uh, we'll also do what are called nerve blocks. So all of us have been in the dentist and had dental work probably. You know when the dentist does an injection in part of your mouth and the whole mouth goes numb. Well, there's similar injection points in the face that we use where we can really numb the face well. So. We do have all patients have an IV, and at my discretion and uh, the patient's needs, I can give IV. Uh, we usually use Versed and Fentanyl, which are common medications used for light IV sedation. They're frequently used uh, for colonoscopies, for example. So depending on a patient's health status and patient choice, I can administer, well, under I, my nurses actually administer the IV medications under my supervision or we'll have an anesthesiologist come in if the patient has medical concerns or patient desire. So, but as you can see in the video, pain's not a factor. Was there any other questions, Risa, before I move on? Um, no, we'll, we'll keep the rest for the end. Thank Sounds you. good. So anyway, this is a split face of the patient you just saw me laser. So everyone's looking for the best tightening device on the market. Well, the best tightening device is the CO2 laser in uh, totally ablative mode. You can literally see when I was doing that procedure, you can see how the eyelids tighten. You see the tightening on every aspect of the skin when that laser pulse was delivered to the skin. And you can see the lift and the wrinkle reduction in this patient. I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples of patients I've done this procedure on. This is just a side view, but look at the you know, tremendous amount of textural improvement and wrinkle reduction, but in a very natural fashion, not overdone. So the reason I, I briefly mentioned earlier about fractionated or fraxel lasers, which we have in this practice and which I love, but the results cannot touch what I can do with the take time because if you look at this photo, a fractional laser does exactly that. It treats a small fraction of the surface area of the skin. When I'm doing your treatment with the Take 10 with the CO2 laser and the Irving laser, you can see I'm affecting 100% of the surface area of the skin. So of course you're gonna naturally have a better result. Um, this is a patient of mine, she's 64, one treatment. Before, after, she's probably four or five weeks out in the after photo. So you, may, you still may see a little bit of pinkness around the mouth, which is normal for the uh, four to six week point. But again, look at the tightening of the, the lids, the skin, the, the cheeks, the wrinkle reduction. This is all from one treatment um, on this patient. Now the under eye area, which I'll stress over and over as I show you photos, you cannot get this kind of result with surgery. It's impossible. Most, when patients have a lower lid surgery, 
for most patients, the most skin you can take out is just a tiny pinch. If you take out more than that, guess what happens? You get this pull down of the eye. So there's nothing like the laser for under eye creepiness, lines, and wrinkles. There's no surgical option. This is another angle. I like to show multiple angles on patients so you can really see the true improvement in uh, multiple angles. Now this patient I just saw recently, she's 76 years old. She's like, I'm 76, I don't want a facelift, I don't want surgery, can you do something to freshen me up? I'm like, of course, I can do the take 10. So just like in that video, I used four different lasers, one for the broken capillaries, one for the brown spots, and the cyton erbium and the CO2. Now, <clears throat> I want you to look at those upper eyelids. Those lids, you would think, had to be surgically done. Well, they're not. This is from the CO2 and erbium laser. Now, with a typical upper lid blepharoplasty, you're going to have an incision from the middle of your eye all the way out, oftentimes visible. Laser, no scar, no incision, beautiful, very natural tightening of that upper lid, as well as the lower lid. <clears throat> of course, she was very happy with the result, and that's why she, all these patients have given me permission to use their photos in uh, this presentation. So, but again, she feels like a cleaner, refreshed version of herself. You know, look at all the broken capillaries on her cheek she had, and she just looked tired, and the lids were heavy, and the wrinkles were strong. And after two months after one treatment, zero, she has zero makeup on, by the way, nothing, not a stitch. Well, except for I think her lashes, but that does nothing on her skin. There's a close up of the eyes. Again, you can see she had kind of crepey, hanging lids. Now she has nice, tight, youthful looking upper eyelids. And you can see all the wrinkles on the, the uh, upper eyelid. If you look at the, uh, the edges here, look how wrinkled they were. Look how nice and smooth and tight. Here's a patient. This is before and seven months after. Again, no makeup. This is makeup free skin. So. Uh, again, tremendous wrinkle reduction and tightening through the perioral or the region around the mouth. Uh, the upper eyelids, you can see, used to be crepey, particularly in the middle portion. And then, of course, under eye crepiness is dramatically improved. Again, just a different angle, but you can see the tremendous reduction in wrinkling and the tightening effect here, all without surger surgery. There's a nice close up of the eyes. I, I love this treatment for the eyes, it's, it's amazing. I mean, look at the difference under those eyes and the upper eyelid skin as well. Here's a patient again, I just saw within the last two months. Um, she's four months out from treatment, she's in her 60s. So again, just nice, clean, refreshed, look at those bright eyes, look at the upper and lower eyelids again. Uh, again, if you look closely at those upper eyelids, they're sitting on her lashes in the pre-photo. Now look at the after photo. She's got a good three to four millimeters of, of lift in a natural fashion, no surgical scar. You can see it in this uh, right oblique. You can see how her lid is sitting on her lashes. And now she has, again, three to four millimeters of clearance, not to mention the tightening and smoothing of the under eye area. A wrinkle reduction around the mouth as well. I like the close-up pictures of the eyes. They really show the detail. Here's a patient actually in her 40s, and you know she came to see me. She was native to any cosmetic procedures. Not, in other words, she never had a single cosmetic procedure done in her life. So I said, look, you have lines here, here, and I noticed a broadness to her face here. So I did Botox here, here, here and in her masseter muscle. She grinds or clenches her teeth, which causes this muscle to grow over time. You put Botox in this muscle, it shrinks and narrows the base of the face. Another treatment I love. Then I resurfaced her. So this is her after that uh, series of events, Botox, then laser resurfacing. Two months after, looks, I, I think, 15 years younger. <laughs> No makeup, not a stitch of makeup or nothing. Here's a 72-year-old patient that I did a few years ago now. 
But I like to show this picture because A, it shows the power of the treatment with the wrinkle reduction and the tightening of the skin, but it also shows a realistic um, degree of pinkness around the mouth for someone who has deeper lines and wrinkles. She has no makeup on in this photo. You can see there's still some pinkness around the mouth. Now it's temporary. It's been four weeks. It usually it can take anywhere from two weeks to several weeks for pinkness to resolve. Now, as far as wearing makeup to cover it, absolutely. You can usually start wearing makeup around day nine to 10. Some patients 11. There's variability patient to patient, just like anything else. <clears throat> Here's the side view. So you can see where I had to treat more aggressively. It still tends to be a little bit pink. But again, her eyes are so much better. The cheek wrinkling, the wrinkling of the upper lip, the jowling, I mean, everything's greatly improved. Nice close up of the eyes, still a little pink. There's a nice close up of the mouth, but it looks like, I mean, yeah, her mouth here looks like a 70 something years old. The mouth here looks like she could be 40s or 50s. Here's another patient, just maybe a few weeks out. I, Again, no makeup besides lipstick and I think maybe a little bit of eyeliner, hard to know. But you can see again, the dramatic tightening and wrinkling reduction here. Upper eyelids are amazingly different and all the brown spots are gone, but she still has a little pinkness around the mouth. Let's close up the eyes again, showing the wrinkle reduction, the tightening of the upper eyelids and the lower. Same thing with the uh, perioral region. It's just a nice oblique view so you can see what she looks like from an angle. Here's another patient six months out. And then the, the great thing, the thing I love about this procedure is there's a median improvement and then there's continual improvement. So you have a median improvement from the impact of the lasers, but then there's continual improvement as your skin builds new collagen and elastic tissue, which continues for at least a year. So this patient was six months out in the after photo, and every month I saw her, she looked better and better and better. No makeup on that skin. <clears throat> Here's a 70-something-year-old patient. Now, she's only three weeks out, but certainly looks at least 15 years younger. I did her face and her neck, actually. And uh, you can see the wrinkle reduction around the mouth the tightening of the lids and significant textural improvement and tightening of the, the neck. 51 year old patient, um, no makeup on the after, zero, nothing. Uh, you can see what a dramatic difference it makes to get rid of all the brown spots and the sun damage. When you clean all that stuff up and you improve the texture of the skin, you get much better light ref reflectance off the skin. So when you look at your, you know, I have kids, when I look at their skin, they have beautiful skin because it's flawless. There's no, there's no wrinkles, there's no textural anomalies, there's no pigment, and it reflects the light very nicely, which is very useful. And that's one of the things you get back with the lasers. But she looks great. She doesn't look overdone. She looks, this looks refreshed significantly. There's a different angle. The lip lines are very aging. And the other nice thing that you get from this procedure, most patients get, is a shortening of the distance between the nose and the upper lip. If you look carefully at her picture, you'll see how that distance is shortened a few millimeters. And that makes a diff big difference because as we age, the space between our nose and our top lip gets bigger and longer and longer, which in turn makes us look older. It's a different angle. This is a patient that I did. This is before and three years after. So uh, the benefits continue to build, like I said, at least for a year and they can last. I'll have patients come back, I'd say anywhere from on the short end, five years, uh, eight years later and, and consider doing the procedure again. Everyone ages at a slightly different rate, of course, and it depends on your level of sun exposure in the past, as well as how well you take care of your skin after the procedure, how long the, the results will last but it's usually at least a minimum of a few years, but it can be often be several years or more. And as you can see her skin maintained a beautiful result. This is a patient again, uh, 60 something year old. Just, you can see that distance between her nose and her upper lip has been shortened. She has more lip show. 
because when the laser tightens the skin, it pulls the upper upper lip up, giving a more uh, more volume appearance to the lip. Same thing with this patient. You can see a slight shortening of that distance, dramatic wrinkle reduction around the mouth. She has zero makeup on in the after photo. You can see the tightening through the cheek here and in the jowl area. It's a close up of her mouth. I love this patient's eyes. I love what it did to her upper eyelids and her lower lids. And of course, I love what it did for her upper lip. Again, still a little bit pink, zero makeup on, a little bit of makeup covers the pigments until it disappears. Again, anywhere from a couple to several weeks later, rarely longer than that. Again, you can see how the lip looks a little bit fuller and that distance is just a little bit shorter. And the eyes just look awesome. It really uh, made a huge difference in the appearance of her upper face. This patient I saw, gosh, I think a month ago, and she was here for her one year follow up. Again, zero makeup on her skin. That's how we like our patients to come in. You can see how that tightening effect under the eyes, they don't look dark anymore. It reflects the light very nicely. And just overall, I mean, it, it's amazing how it refreshed her skin, but in a natural way. She doesn't look overdone. She doesn't like, look cooled like you can look from a facelift. Very natural. This is a younger patient. You know, sometimes these upper lip lines are genetic. I mean, she never smoked in her life, but sure enough, you can see in the pre-photo, long distance, lots of lines. In the after photo, shortened distance, no lines. <clears throat> this patient I saw again just a few months ago. And I love the eyes. I, I keep saying it, but it's amazing to me what we can do non-surgically with the eyes. And what a tremendous, I mean, that takes 10 years off right there, the, the tightening and smoothing of the upper and lower eyelid skin. This patient, her biggest issue is this laxity in the uh, middle upper lid. You can see that redundant skin. So when I did her face, I'm like, that was one of my focus points. And you can see how that the lasers tightened up the skin in the middle part of her upper lid. <clears throat> now, a lot of times with a lot of patients, patient choice, of course, but it makes sense to address the neck as well to the best of our abilities. And we like to do that non-surgically, just like we like to do the face. So for a lot of patients with neck issues, I love the thermi tight with micro lipo combination. So what is that and how does it work? Well, I'm going to show you a three minute video that takes you through a treatment. So today we're gonna to be doing one of my favorite procedures, which is called Thermitite. Thermitite is a procedure which is designed to tighten the skin, particularly underneath the chin and in the neck area. Can you extend up? So when patients have a little bit of laxity in this area, this is the best treatment that I've seen in 17 years for this area. So we're gonna get started. First, we're gonna numb this area. And then I'll show you there's a probe that goes under the skin that actually heats the skin and causes it to contract. You can actually uh, melt fat with it as well. So we're going to get started with the numbing. So you can see we're just going to put a little bit of anesthetic on the right side of the neck here. And then I'm going to have the patient lift her chin up nice and high. And we'll do a little bit here. And then now we're gonna swing around to this side and do the same thing. A little bit of anesthetic. Okay, good, perfect. So now we're injecting the tumescent anesthetic solution, which will numb up the entire neck area. You can see how quickly we can do this. And there's very little discomfort because I already placed a little bit of lidocaine in the entry point. So we're starting the actual thermitite procedure. You can see that I have the thermitite probe is underneath the skin. So I'm 
The beauty of this procedure is you're able to actually direct the radio frequency energy to the undersurface of the skin where you need it. So you can get that tissue contraction or tightening that you want. You can see we have a camera here that monitors the temperature so we know exactly what the temperature of the skin is at all times. And we have this infrared uh, t monitor which helps us track the heating process. So generally this can take anywhere from, you know, seven to 12 minutes to get the temperature to what, what we want for tissue contraction. So you can see the patient's completely numb, not having any discomfort at all. And we're just slowly going to deliver this energy to this submental or the area under the chin. Okay, so we just finished doing the thermotype portion. Now we like to finish that off after we use the device to kind of melt the fat and cause some tissue contraction. We're gonna remove that melted fat with this uh, cannula here. So this is the final part of the procedure for us and she'll do great. Here we go. So you can see that in the tube there, you can see some of the fat that's coming out. So this is just our way of making this procedure the best it can possibly be. You have the uh, tissue contraction from the radio frequency device, but then we actually remove the fat too, so it's a win-win all around and they get the best result possible. She'll drive herself home from this procedure, which is amazing. There's no re reason patients can't be awake and alert for this procedure. They have no pain because we numb them completely, so they can drive themselves home, which is great. So that procedure is one where I'd say 95% of my patients will drive themselves here and drive themselves home because you're completely numb with the, how I administer the lidocaine as you saw in the video. Now for the patients out there that are nervous or concerned or, or want something to be relaxed, well, I understand that and we absolutely want our patients to be as comfortable as possible. So because we have accredited operating rooms, we can give you, you know, if you need uh, something for pain or something to relax, we have Valium, Ativan, and things like that. And we'll use it um, for the patients that require that. But the beauty of it is the overwhelming majority of patients don't need it, they don't want it, they wanna drive themselves home, which is great. So this patient here in this photo, she's in her forties. And uh, you can see what the concern was. The concern is the neck, right? The angle's not good. Um, and this is her two months after I treated her. Just like laser resurfacing, which we just talked about, the take 10 procedure, this procedure, you see most patients see immediate improvement, which I'll show you in some of the photos that are forthcoming, but they'll see continual tightening for at least six months. So now in this patient, I did... I did the thermotype procedure, but I also put a little volume in her chin. A big part of my practice is injecting Botox and fillers. So I put some filler, one syringe of Juvederm Voluma in her chin, which gave her a better projection uh, and everything was great. Even you can see the angle of her jaw is much more defined after the uh, thermotype procedure, but it's really this part that was a home run. And you can see from the other side, it was almost as if her neck started to go down from the chin, right, at, at this kind of angle. Now you can see it's like this. So um, I, I love this result. I just saw her a few days ago. I had to put it in my talk. Um, this patient, again, 50s, fullness here. One treatment with the th Thermitite my, looks much better. That's five months out, much better angle. Uh, here's another one, four months out. You can see, look at her from straight on. I mean, she looks like she's probably lost a bunch of weight, even though her weight hasn't changed. Just getting rid of this fullness under the chin is very transformational. And this patient is in her 40s. Here's a patient in her 60s. Uh, 
you would think that it would require surgery to get this kind of result because look how full and look how that neck hung down. But when you look at it from the side and even from the oblique angle, it's like a totally different neck. Now remember, this is a non-surgical procedure that takes me about 45 minutes to do that. You can drive yourself here and drive yourself home. You can't beat it. I've never seen a procedure. I've been doing this for 20 years that works like this on their neck. And we have about 50 different machines, lasers, devices here. But this one for the neck for the right patients, home run. Here's a patient um, <clears throat> before and then three days later. So you can see, again, that instant tightening effect. See if you look closely. She's got a little bit of bruising, but she can show up to work, a little bit of makeup. No one would even know. Now, if you look from the side, if you look carefully, you can see, uh, let me turn the right way. There's a tiny little red speck here. That was the entry point that I used to do all the work. So there's heal without any, uh, any signs whatsoever. It was like I was never there. <clears throat> Here's a patient in her uh, late 50s. Again, just getting mostly skin laxity and you can see the nice tightening within a month. Another one, a few weeks later. This one, she was a little bit younger in her 40s. It's not just for women, of course. We have probably uh, 10 to 15% of our patients are men. And this is a male patient I did that's six weeks out. Now, I haven't seen him back yet, but I guarantee when I see him, when he's four or five months out, it's going to leak even better than that. He actually flew in from Mexico City and flew out the next day. So I have a lot of patients to travel. You can certainly travel with these procedures. Now, it's not just for older patients. I have a lot, I have a ton of 30-something-year-old patients that I do this procedure on because this problem is genetic. This girl in this picture worked out, fit, beautiful all the way around, but just had this fullness uh, in her upper, upper neck. And with the thermotype, this is one treatment I did on her. Uh, I think she got a really nice result. She's very happy. Here's a 30, I think she's 32 year old. So young, 32 year old nurse that came to see me just with this little bit of fullness here. So younger patients are great candidates too. You can see how great she looked one week out. And if you look carefully, it looks like a little freckle, the entry point. And then you can see two months out, she looks even better than she looked at a week. So progressive improvement with this procedure. This is the other side. So you can you can see in the um, in the one week photo you see how it's kind of red. There's a red little mark there. That was my entry point. Then if you look in the after photo, you can't even see it anymore. The two month photo. There's a 34 year old that I did, and in this after photo, I think she was just a couple months at that point. But it looks great. It looks like she lost you know a bunch of weight, but again, it's just this fullness was taken away. <clears throat> Other patients seven weeks out, you can see again the nice tightening uh, already at seven weeks. Different angle. <clears throat> so this is a patient that did a combination. If you look at her face closely, take 10 on the face, thermi tight with micro in the neck. Beautiful combination for the right patient. See how smooth and tight the lower lids look. The wrinkling around the mouth is gone. Uh, but you can see actually a textural improvement in the neck. And you can see the tightening effect on the neck. You can certainly see it on this angle. You can see how her jawline is much more noticeable. She actually has a nice jawline and it's much more straight. And again, look at the wrinkling on the neck looks much better too. I mean, in the first photo, the pre-photo, she doesn't really have a defined jawline at all, but you can see in the after photo, she has a nice crisp jawline again. Uh, this is a patient I had before and six weeks after. Here's another patient, combination patient, take 10 on the face, thermi tight with micro on the neck. So look at the tremendous textural improvement and tightening of that upper eyelid skin and all the wrinkle reduction in the cheeks. And then you can see how her jawline is already starting to be redefined and tightened. There's a close up, just so you can appreciate the textural improvement in the skin how it literally took 15 years off her facial skin and then the tightening that's starting to take place on the neck. 
This is the other side. So a little one month out, is she still a little pink here and there? Yeah. She looks great. No makeup. And here's another combination patient. Take 10, thermi tight. You can see on the straight on, the uh, this little part that was hanging down is gone. You can see the wrinkle reduction. Pretty much her wrinkles are gone on her upper lip. And then look at her under eye area. I treated the redness, the blood vessels, and then the laser tightened and smoothed the skin of the upper and lower lip. And she looks 15 years younger for sure. <clears throat> I showed you this patient earlier. Uh, this is take 10 thermi type combo. Now, something I want to mention before we get to the questions was I see so many patients that come in to see me for brown spots or wrinkles. And when I look at them, I see these big blue veins sticking out. And most patients don't bring it up unless they've done research on the online because they don't think these are treatable. Well, these are very treatable. I treated my first patient with these 20 years ago and I've treated tens of thousands of patients with them. So anyone out there that has the blue veins either under the eye or in the temple area, they're very treatable. These, the one treatment, they're usually 80% or more gone. You can see in this patient, she had some large ones under the eyes and they make you look tired, they make the eyes look dark. And then you can see they go up into the temple area as well. Here's another patient, you can see blue veins underneath and up into the temple area. Uh, you can see on the uh, oblique angle, huge vein going up into the temple area. That, again, I just did one treatment on her. So now is a good point in our lecture to take some questions. So Risa, do you want to? Uh... Great, yes, thank you so much, Dr. Groff. We have a lot of questions for you. Okay. Um, thank you so much, that was incredible. Actually, um, I, I think I want to take 10 now too. <laughs> Oh, come on um, down. <laughs> it's really remarkable, even some of these newer photos that, that um, you shared with us today. Thanks. So let's get started with these questions. Um, sure. this, you can see Dr. Groff's beautiful family up on the screen, but I'm going to remove that so that you guys can see him a little bit larger while he answers questions. All, All right. right. So Dr. Groff, let's see. There is a lot of questions that has been coming around the downtime. Um, how long the results last will, um, and how, what the downtime looks like. So the, the downtime, you, you should count on, I'd say the average patient's nine to 10 days. If you can plan for a little bit longer, great. Um, but it's rarely a week or less. It's almost always universally nine to 10 days. Now that nine to 10 days, you're not going to be going to the office. You're not going to be going to the grocery store because you look beat up. I mean, you know, the price that you pay, so to speak, for a, an amazing result is that there's downtime and don't let anyone tell you different. We have every device known to mankind in this office. And I promise you, if there was a laser that we had where I could get this kind of result and have three days of downtime or four, of course I would do it because patients would love that, but it's just not possible. The technology still is not there. So I know you see a lot of ads on Instagram or Facebook or wherever that show these you know, amazing results for, and unrealistic expectations for a short period of time, it just isn't possible because we, we would be doing it. So, I, but to answer your question, I plan on nine to 10 days for sure. Now it's not a painful recovery. I'd say it's very rare that anyone has pain afterwards. So once in a great while, probably one out of like 50, maybe one out of a hundred patients, I have to call in pain medication, but almost that's rare. So it's usually like, I'll see patients the next day that drive themselves here, no pain. And that's pretty much standard. Um, Great. I can't actually see the questions, Risa. Do you want me to kind of- No, no it's okay. I got it. So, oh, so okay. um, how, how long do the results last for? And will they need more than one treatment? It, all those patients I showed you are one treatment. I don't think I've ever done a second treatment on anyone. So now sometimes the area where the creepiness starts to come back the most quick is probably the under eye area. So sometimes I've seen as early as patients coming back two to three years later just to do the under eye area. So to answer Brandy's question, yes, you can treat just the under eye. You don't have to do the whole face. I have patients who will do the under eye only, I have patients who will do the upper and lower lids only, 
I'll have patients who will do just the upper lip only, who will just do around the mouth. So you can kind of, you don't want to do the full whole face. You know, you don't have to, of course. So, um, yeah. Okay. Great. So I know um, today we do have a giveaway that we'll, we'll announce at the end, but there are a lot of people asking about cost. I know it's a hard question to answer, but is there any guidance you can provide? Um, it, for the face, it's going to be at least in the few thousand range. Okay. It's not going to be less than that, not a lot less than like four, but it could be four to six or more, depending on what we do, which lasers. For example, you know, if, if the patient comes to me and wants to take 10, but, and they also have big blue veins around here, well, there's, you know, that's a different laser that I don't use on everyone. So there's an additional charge for that. So it just depends. I mean, we tailor it to the exact needs of the patient. So if I need three lasers, I use three lasers. If I, use, if I need six lasers, I use six. So that's how we kind of figure out the pricing. Great. And I want to remind everyone that Dr. Groff offer, offers complimentary consultations in the office. So you're welcome to come in and see him and get a fully customized quote and, you know, have him look at your face yourself. So there's really no risk in that. Um, so many people are saying, wow, and amazing from the photos as you were showing them. Oh, good. Uh, let's see. So um, can this be done on people with darker skin? We got one question about darker skin and another about Asian skin. Well, the one uh, patient that I showed a before and after was she had a slightly darker skin. She had traveled actually from Mexico to be treated. So yes, there, I mean, there's a certain point where I'd say the answer is no, but that's what the consultation's for. Then we might have to do a different procedure. And we do have, we have lasers for all skin types, depending on need. Now, depending on your skin type, the needs are usually different. I mean, I did, I lived in Japan for two years and generally their problem, the problem with patients that I have, I think six publications on the treatment of Asian skin, it's usually pigment. They, they tend to, unlike someone like me who gets wrinkles, they get more pigment in their thirties and forties, not the wrinkling that comes later. So again, you know, the best way to figure out the safest and most effective treatment is come, come and see us, of course. Great. So um, regarding the neck, can you also help with the jawline? <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I mean, I'm not sure who asked that question, but if you look at some of those photos, which I have a ton of them on Instagram, we have them on our practice website, you'll see a lot of patients who have ill-defined jawlines. And then after, say, the thermi type procedure, you'll see a greatly, nicely demarcated jawline. Great. Um, does this procedure help with acne scars? It can, but um, acne scars, there's, there's probably five or six different types of acne scarring. And depending on the acne scars, what, what subtype they are, that kind of guides my treatment decision. But this is one option, but it's not always the best option now. With acne scarring, oftentimes fractional resurfacing might be the best option. So. Okay. Uh, along those lines with acne, someone's saying that they still get breakouts from time to time. Will this procedure aggravate them or help? Seeing patients um, once in a while their acne will get aggravated, but I mean, a lot of the patients are in their 40s and 50s and don't get acne anymore either. But if I'm working on a younger patient, sometimes because we have to use a thin layer of ointment on your skin during the healing process, they can experience an increase in breakouts for you know a few weeks after the procedure, but never so severe that it causes scarring. I've never seen that happen. It's usually minor, you know, mild inflammatory acne not cystic or scarring acne. Um, some of the before and afters that you showed, did any of them have Botox or fillers? None of them had fillers except for the one thermi type patient. I showed the very first one, her profile, you can see her, which, but I did mention that during the presentation, but none of the laser take 10 patients had any fillers. Um, some do Botox, some don't. I prefer, I always encourage patients to do Botox before doing the laser, because if you think about it, you want your muscles to be relaxed. I'm going to create this beautiful new skin for you. I don't want your facial muscles crunching, etching lines into this beautiful new skin I've created. So in my ideal world, all patients would do Botox before the take 10 procedure. And that's how you maintain, at least for the upper face, that's how you maintain the results for the longest time possible. So 
but not everyone does that. So yeah, sure. Some did have Botox before and others didn't. Um, how about with melasma? Does this help with melasma? Uh, it would be risky with melasma. Some patients it could cure their melasma and others, the melasma would come right back. So yeah, that would be a gamble for sure. Okay. And then a lot of people are asking more about the recovery and to see photos. I believe that when they come into the office and see, see you, you could show them a progression of recovery photos. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and what is the post-procedure process? Can you speak to that? Do they have to come in daily? Um, is there no. oxygen treatments? No, no oxygen treatments, no daily office visits. Uh, generally a patient will come see me. We do the treat. Say if I do the treatment on a Friday, I usually see them on Monday. We do the treatment on say a Tuesday. I'll either see them Wednesday or Thursday, depending on which works best. Um, so I'd say within one to three days, we'll do the first appointment. Then depending on how the patient looks in my eyes, I'll see them within a, a few more days. Um, so it's usually, I'd say within a 10 day period, I'll see the average patient three times in 10 days. So, and the post-operative care is basically a thin layer of ointment, like Aquaphor, for example. And we have you do, um, they're called dilute vinegar soaps. So we have you make a solution of dilute vinegar, which is basically a teaspoon of white vinegar in eight ounces of water. You keep it in your refrigerator and then you have you uh, take little gauze pads, soak them, in the uh, solution and lay them on your skin. And you do that for about 20 minutes, a few times a day. <laughs> That's it. You do that for that eight to 10 day period. So you showed a picture of a 76 year old woman. Is skin too fragile at a certain point to handle this procedure? It's actually the opposite of what you would think. The patients who see the biggest change in the skin that tightens the most is the older patients with thinner skin. Then her skin, when that laser hits, contracts a lot more than younger skin. So they actually see the, the most tightening. Mm. And um, can you also treat the chest, hands, and forearms during a Take 10 face and neck session? Well, that's a great question. There is a reason why we have 50 lasers here. <laughs> because one laser does not fit all. And that certainly goes with different body parts. I, the laser I use on your face, I'm not going to use on your hands. This hand skin is totally different, heals differently than face skin. So for the hands, I generally do different uh, lighter laser treatments for body parts in general. All right. So you've been talking about Fraxel a lot. Someone's asking if you prefer it over the Pico lasers. Um, and this person has melasma, so they're considering both the Pico <coughs> and the Fraxel. Um. For melasma patients, I prefer, it's a laser called Fraxel Dual. We didn't speak about it at all tonight, but that's usually, if I'm gonna go to the laser route, that's my first, or the Clear and Brilliant, which is basically a watered down, less intense version of the Fraxel Dual. Those are my first two. Okay, a few more questions left. I know we're coming up on sure. the hour here. We'll get through as many as we can. So do you typically recommend a single treatment of Thermitite or several treatments over the course of several months? No, no, no. These are all, the, the big, one of the biggest points I want to make is these are treatments that are once and done. Like, I, I don't think I've ever done a second Thermitite treatment unless the patient was several years out from my initial treatment. So these aren't things you have to plan to come in multiple times to get the result. Every single patient I showed you and every single patient you'll see in my Instagram will say this is one treatment. So it's a one treatment and done, whether we're talking about the take 10 or the thermi type. All right. So someone's saying I had CO2 in 2004. How has this <laughs> procedure changed and advanced since then? I know that's a big question, but well, I was just a teenager back then. So how <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just finished residency actually. So in 2004, I mean, that's 16 years. You know, I tell patients lasers are like cars, like every few years, a newer, fancier uh, model with new features, safe, new safety features, everything comes out. So they've changed quite a bit. And so of techniques. So 16 years is a long time. I, I do things totally different than I did back in 2004. All right. 
If you had Botox or fillers before, how long do you wait until you can have the procedure? Uh, let's take each one individually. Botox, you can do the, I'd say two days before and no problem. I, I, even the day before, but I'd encourage at least a couple days prior. Fillers, there you can do it the same day, actually. I've had patients where I'll do filler um, the day of the procedure and patients like that because they already have some medication on board to relax them. All right. And uh, will you do more than one pass on a certain skin area if it's needed? Oh, yeah. That's how I get those results. Yeah. You see the um, tiny of those lids and around the mouth, that's multiple pass. That's not one pass. That's one pass isn't going to do that. Yeah. So do you think this procedure can replace a thread lift for lower and mid face tightening? I mean, I don't think there's any comparison. I, I do thread. Well, I don't really do threads anymore, but I've done them in the past because I, I don't, they're not impressive to me, the results. They're very, very subtle and they're very expensive. Um, so I think the laser blows threads away. I mean, there's more downtime, but certainly worth it. So some people are asking if, um, if you're the only doctor that does this in the practice, and I want to make it clear, we have six board certified dermatologists. All of them have access to the same lasers. Um, a lot of them do this procedure. Everyone has a little bit of a different philosophy and technique, um, but we, all of our board der certified dermatologists are certainly trained. Correct. Um, and people are also asking about things not related to take 10, but I just want to remind everyone that at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology, we do treat leg veins. So yes, we can treat lanes, la veins behind your knees. Um, we also can do body sculpting as well. So we can kind of skip over those questions. Today sure. we're focusing on the take 10. And let's see, um, can we do these la this laser treatment on someone with tan skin and someone that is prone to keloids? I mean, it depends how, how tan you are. I've certainly done tan patients with no problems. I mean, in an ideal world, you want to be tan, but I can do that. And what was the other part of the question? Um, keloids and- oh, keloids. Skin. Yeah, I've never had a patient ever in 20 years doing thousands and thousands of these. I've never had a single patient get a keloid. Even if they've had history of keloids on the body, I've never had that happen on the face. Um, if someone did a take 10 and they had a white spot on their face or some hypopigmentation, can you correct that or can it not be corrected? Do they make, let's see how, if someone has hypopigmentation, can that be corrected during the procedure? I mean, hypopigmentation, depending where it is, how hypopigmented it is, generally the, the CO2 laser or the take 10 procedure will make it less noticeable. But if the pigment is completely gone, there's no laser that will bring your pigment back. But usually we can make it less noticeable because if there's a white spot and it has all this sun damage around it, well, if we get rid of the sun damage and make the skin look more uniform, the white spot doesn't stand out as much. If that makes sense. Yes. Um, all right, last few questions. Can you compare the Thermitite with Ultherapy? I, yeah, I'd say, I mean, we have Ulthera here and I love Ulthera for the right patient, but you're never ever gonna get the tightening uh, of the neck with Ulthera that you get with Thermitite. Now, Ulthera is non-invasive, so everything's done through the surface of the skin, whereas Thermitite, you know, requires me to make that tiny little using a needle, same size needles when you draw, you can get blood drawn to make a little point here, here, and here. And that's when I insert that thin little probe through that hole. So it's minimally invasive. But I think the trade-off is for the right patient, amazing. I mean, you can't compare the two. All right, let's, I'll try and combine two more for the final question. So just to reiterate, because people are still asking, how soon can you go out in public, meet, meet friends after this procedure? And then how long will the tightening effects last? I would say the average patient is nine to 10 days until they feel comfortable going out and about, like say the grocery store or something. Uh, and the second part of the question- How long does the tightening effect last? Oh, uh, I'd say anywhere from a few to several up to 10 years depending on the patient, how your genetics, how well you take care of your skin, but at least a few years. Great. <clears throat> All right. So 
Um, before we get to the last few questions or last question, um, I know everyone's excited for our giveaway for $1,000 off a take 10 treatment with Dr. Groff, which is a huge savings and it's probably worth, you know, this take 10 procedure should be worth so much more because it's so impressive. Um, to be entered, you had to be present during this live webinar. So if you're watching the recording, I'm sorry. Um, for those of you that are here live, um, we do have the list of you that joined, but just in case, if you guys could come into the chat and you can privately send your name and email just to make 100% sure we have it in case you registered using a different email, that would be fantastic. Um, and while you guys are doing that, um, a couple of people did ask about men. Um, you did show some male pictures, but here's one more question for the men out there. Right. I have a 65 year old male friend with several wrinkles above the eyebrows and between the eyebrows and crow's feet. The rest of his skin looks great. What laser would you recommend? Um, I mean, based on the information you give me, I probably wouldn't recommend laser. I'd recommend Botox. <laughs> <laughs> You know, these lines here, here, and here, they're, unless you do Botox, they're going to be contracting, contracting, contracting. I mean, the best thing is to stop that contraction and then maybe consider going laser. But I would start with Botox because Botox is safe. It's simple. There's no downtime and it absolutely works. I mean, it's, we know that it's been in the market now for 25 years. So, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so um, we wanna protect everyone's privacy. So we will announce the winner tomorrow um, on social media if they approve us using their name. And if it's not, we'll just announce that it has been, ha has been decided. So please stay tuned. Please make sure you're following Cosmetic Laser Dermatology on social media and Dr. William Groff. Um, we, we all post lots of great before and afters and educational information all the time. And we do have sometimes exclusive promotions that are only for people on social media. So if there's not, um, if we didn't get to your question, I'm very sorry, but just know we do offer complimentary consultations with Dr. Groff inside the office. We also offer virtual consultations right now if someone's more comfortable with that um, because of COVID or if you're from out of town, it's a great idea. A lot of people fly in from all over the country just for this specific procedure. So you're welcome to schedule a virtual consultation. Our office currently is closed right now, but you guys can visit our website and schedule yourself for an in-person or a virtual consultation right now. I see a lot of you saying you're ready to schedule and someone else saying they're scheduled for a take 10 next week and this made them so excited about it. Someone else saying, thank you. I, I love yeah. my results. I saw you last year. So thank you oh, guys awesome. so much. And Thank you, Dr. Groff, so much. Right. Final words? Um, no, I just, I think uh, if anyone has any questions, like Risa said, uh, please come in and see me. I'm happy to sit down with you. We have great staff. I, I'm very fortunate. I have the best, I think, staff. I have Carrie, who's been a nurse for 31 years with this practice now. She knows everything about lasers. She's the best source of information. And um, our whole staff is incredible, so. Absolutely. And we'll spend as much time as you guys need answering your questions. We'll give you guidance on what to do before the treatment. I saw some people asking about that and we'll handhold you through this process and make sure you're, you, you get exactly what you need. So yeah, please have, come see have. us. Thank Great you so staff. much, Dr. Groff. And again, this Take 10 procedure is only offered at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. It's something we developed. So thank That's you right. so much for tuning Bye. in, Dr. Groff. Thanks, Risa. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.